Hi Earth Sign, welcome to my channel. We're doing your 22. Okay, I'm not sure if I burnt my tongue somewhere because I drink cold coffee and yet my tongue is burnt. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I'm not sure what I ate. <laughs> okay, anyhow, this is gonna be for the Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We have four points on extended read, so do help yourself because nobody is going to. <laughs> Okay, so let's see here. Let's see what's going on. Let's see here. Hmm. What's going on, Earth Sign? Tell me. I'm listening. What's going on for you guys? Let's see here. Here we go. Chariot. We traveling, Earth Sign? We traveling? Want to see someone? It can be a Cancerian. You're following your calling also. For some, this is realizing what their destiny is, what their life purpose is, and then you know, going towards, um, you know, going towards a person. So here's how here's how it aligns, Earth sign. Okay, mm, you guys are getting the good stuff right away. Um, knowing your purpose in life and knowing you know where you're headed to, meaning the song. Do you know? Where you're headed to, do you know? Oh. See, once you know where you're going, okay, it leads you to the path provided, okay, that in your chart that there is really someone that is gonna be there for you in the chart, meaning if the stars align it, okay, then that's how this energy get attracts get attracted to you, okay. If, when we are still searching for ourselves and we don't know yet where we're supposed to go to, where our destination is, okay, then it doesn't give a clear space for the other energy to come towards you. Here, someone is in align with their destiny. Good stuff. I want some hot stuff, baby, to see. It's too early for this song. Where am I getting this? Have your two of swords. The other person is at crossroads. Choosing to be with their soulmate. Should I be with this person? Mental thoughts, swords are thoughts. Um, but it's a battle between to keep their heart open also. Because a two of swords is not open to drama, not open to feelings, not open, do not disturb. As you know, this is how I call it. This is always the hotel card, you know, do not disturb, I'm thinking. Okay? Other person has already made up their mind. This person has moved on from the past. Release and let go, and all the way direction towards their success. And this is the seventh house. This is a partnership also. Some of you guys could probably be dealing with family issues right now, and you're just letting go of those issues also. And you have your Queen of Wands knowing who you are. There you go. Queen of Wands is out of all the queens, this is the this is the queen. Okay. When I say the queen, it's because um, this person is invested on themselves, like totally. You're talking about from head to toe, I take care of myself, I know what I want, and I get it, you know? And no chaser, queens are not a chaser. This person now is just doing their own thing, vibing with what they want, with what they want to do in their life. It's positive here. Some people could be meeting a fire skin at the same time, bird sign. Saying, staying true to yourself, that's a queen of wands here. The other person is a four of pentacles. You see, you see the polar opposites over here. The soulmate is is in the you know is not opening up. Remember, I told you heart chakra. Four of pentacles is the person who's holding things to their chest, you know, thinking only of them, which is a stage in their life. This is this person over here is going in a stage in their life, okay, where it's gotta be me, you know. That's, you know, so it's just gonna be them for now. They're not ready, they're not willing to open up, they're not they're not there. Okay? They need first to think if they can. Told you. Okay, let me see here. But the other person doesn't get bothered though. You know, like do whatever you want. It's like I'm okay here. I'm I'm following my destiny. I'm I'm I know where I'm um, being led to, you know. Let's see. Can be with a Scorpio. <coughs> Sorry. Death card over here. So this is the energy where the person has gone through transition, okay, a rebirth process. This person wasn't the queen of wands before. This person probably was a page 
It happened fast. Someone could have probably moved, relocated, and then things changed in their life. Someone made a choice to let go of the past, move forward, here you go, queen of wands again. However, what, uh, in any way that you look at this uh, you know, um, energy, this person has changed. Mm -hmm. You change, right, Sam? You've changed. Well, the other person is stuck. Four of Pentacles. Four, you can get stuck with the number four because mm -hmm. it's not uncomfortable. Someone can just be happy just being, you know, like, um, you know, uh, just being for themselves and by themselves. Other person is Ten of Swords. Okay, I got you. Mm -hmm. Person can open up, open up, can be because they've been betrayed before, but they're putting that down to a rest already. They're in a new cycle. They're also in the death. Um, you know, in the death card energy, because for me, this is another death card, okay? Because putting things six feet under, you know, laying down the situation and addressing, it's like, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready for what's coming. This person wasn't ready before. They are about to now. Because you can't take another sword anymore. You gotta let go. And that's what this person is having. Now, with the death card over here, the, the soulmate energy here, where they were going to, uh, through trans, uh, transformation, it affected the other person. They were having major stuff. That's why the other person affected also. Minor, yes, but it's affecting the soulmate to go in the same okay, journey as this, as this other soulmate over here. Okay, could be dealing with an air sign and a fire sign over here. Water, lots of water, all right? So, Earth sign, I'm going to continue this reading as we move forward, okay? Not backward. We never move backward, okay? The reading only goes backward, uh, forward, okay? Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful um, 22nd of March, and I'll see you guys again. Bye.